Hello and welcome to a video preview of um, an application that I'm writing for Windows Mobile version 6 phones with um, integrated GPS. Demonstration today is going to be on an HTC Touch Diamond from Ulta. Um, running the stock um, ROM, no special software added. Um, and uh, yeah, so let me show you the little application I'm working on here. Let's see. Oh, right up here. Um, I've always been impressed by uh, Nike Plus and um, the iPod integration, but I don't want an iPod and I don't want to pay for a Nike Plus, so I decided to write something of my own that uses uh, the GPS capabilities of the phone to track distances traveled for walks, runs, bike rides, whatever you happen to be doing. So this is the, uh, the main screen. Right now it says locations waiting because we haven't started a run yet. Um, obviously everything else is waiting as well because it's not tracking any distances. Uh, we'll always show you miles, miles per hour, calories. I, I'm going to have an option in a, a little bit later to switch from miles to uh, kilometers, and of, co of course. Um, your progress through with these progress bars is showing how far you are in your current mile and how far you are in your goal. Right now it's hard-coded to 3.1 miles or a 5K. Um, in the final version, you're going to be able to go to the settings menu there and, uh, and change that um, to whatever you want. So to start a run, you just hit start run, which I'm not going to do yet because uh, we'll show you a couple other things. When you're done running, hit stop and it will log that. You can always reset it as well to uh, just reset everything to the defaults. Um, after you have done a run and you want to see, you've got three options here. You've got settings, view log, and upload data. Right now, upload, or sorry, view log is the only one that actually works. You come in here and you can see that it shows a log of your runs, how far you ran, what date and time you did it on. You can touch any of those at any time and you get the start, the end, of the distance. Um, I'm going to add miles per average miles per hour, um, max pace, calories burnt, all that kind of jazz um, here as well in the final version. Again, this is a work in progress very, very much. And then total miles that it's logged and total amount of time. So obviously um, 70 miles in 13 minutes. I didn't really do that. I'm just uh, playing around with some test data. But you can scroll up and down through your results and just kind of switch them at any time and see all your results. In the final version, you're going to be able to delete logs and add manual logs. So since this uses GPS, of course, not very good on a treadmill. Uh, so you'll be able to add treadmill runs and things like that manually. Um, so you can track it all in one place. Again, hit close and we come right back to our main screen. Let me go ahead and, I'm indoors right now, but we'll go ahead and it'll lock to the satellite anyways. So you hit start run and you can see your location is currently 0, 0, 0 satellites locked. And just give it a moment. And there we go. We have a location, and we have a uh, um, satellite count, and it's going to tell you how far you've traveled. Right now it's showing a little bit of mileage just because there's, you know, it's sensing some change in where our location is. Um, I'm going to work on leveling that out so it doesn't do that when you're just standing here. Miles per hour, of course, we're not moving, and calories I haven't implemented yet. Uh, but you can see there's actually a little bit of progress in the mile indicator there. I'll go outside in a minute and show you it a little bit better so you can really see how this works. When you're done, just hit stop run. And now, when I go to view my log, I'm going to reverse order these in the final version because uh, your newest one's on the bottom now. But you can see right there our awesome, awesome run that we just did of about you know 40 seconds. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's uh, the kind of the indoor preview of it. Um, in a second here, we're going to go outside and uh, we'll we'll actually see it in action, so you can see it move in, see the progress bars kind of grow, and get an idea of how that all works. Okay, I figured out. Uh what better way to show the progress indicators and the speed indicators than sitting down in my car um, and showing you some real speed. It'll go faster than me trying to jog or anything like that. So um, here we go. We're driving down the road right now. And you can see the progress indicator starting to fill up for the mile indicator as well as for the overall trip or goal indicator. And again, that goal is set to 3.1 miles. Um, come up here to the stats and you can see that it's showing we're a uh, currently traveling at about 30 miles an hour there it looks like, yep, and how far we've gone. And you can see those bars just keep on filling up. Um, I highly doubt you're ever going to see it fill this fast while you're obviously walking or running. Um, but that gives you a good idea of uh, how those indicators work while you're in motion. And you can see the screen dims obviously for power saving, but, uh, but yeah, so that's what it looks like when you're in motion. All right, well there you have it. Um, you can see, uh, Finally made it into the second mile there, um, and made a little further into the goal by the time I got back here. Um, but yeah, so that is the application right now. I'm kind of codenaming it 
trekmyrun.mobi, but I'm uh, not happy with that name, so it's going to change before it's all said and done. Um, the standalone version of the program, I'm hoping um, to have it done in about a week, have all the you know the logging stuff done the way I want it done. Um, you can see there's our run we just did right there. Um, hopefully have it all done and um, have everything working really well. And uh, the standalone version is going to be completely free. Just going to go ahead and give that to everybody who wants it. Hopefully get some good feedback on it and uh, keep going from there. Uh, hopefully add audible notifications, you know, down the road. So it'll be like one mile, two mile, you know, however far you've gone um, and some uh, pleasant things like that. So hope you like it. And uh, again, hopefully in about a week I will have this pretty little application available for everyone to enjoy. So there we go.